Lamborghinis and they rented hummus. The party's on, so they're heading downtown. Everybody's looking for a come up. Beautiful people, Drop top designer clothes, front row fashion shows. What you do and who you know inside the world. Of beautiful people, champagne and roll up nose, breathing up some broken homes. Surrounded but still alone. Let's leave the party. That's not who we are. We are, we are, we are. We are not beautiful. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to give everyone a few minutes to take their seat before we begin our commencement ceremony for our middle school students. So I would just like my National Junior Honor Society officers to please come on up right now. And everyone else will give you a couple minutes to settle in.
Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our Moving Up ceremony. We are here for the middle school class of 2023, who will be the high school graduating class of 2027. Let's give them a round of applause. Before I get started on the ceremony, I want to just go over a few housekeeping items. To the far left back, I don't know if that's the best description, but where you would be entering our field or going up onto the bleachers, we have our nurse present over there. So if anyone should need any medical attention at any point, she will be there to assist. In addition, parents, I know that you want that perfect shot of your child as they cross the stage. So I'm going to ask students to pay super attention to the fact that your parent is out there kneeling down trying to get a good picture of you. So as you cross the stage, do you make sure you take a moment, don't roll your eyes at them, take that moment and smile, have your moment, let them take a picture as they go across. In addition, you may notice that some of our students are seated alphabetically and others are not. The students in the front rows are with our chorus and they're seated in the order in which they're going to come on up to the riser so that we could have smooth transitions. After our chorus students go back and forth, you're gonna see that they're gonna come up in a different order. After chorus comes up to get their diploma, the rest of the students will be alphabetical. So parents, what you need to do need to watch everyone equally, all right? I'm gonna pay attention and make sure you see your child coming. You'll see them line up over here. You can come on up and get a great shot. So without further ado, I would like to start off by welcoming up our class, actually our National Junior Honor Society officers. We have here Alalakin Ogunsakin. We have Lucas Di Clemente, right? Madeline Maleo and Katie Park to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. When they are done, we are going to have the National Anthem directed by Ms. Langell. So let's set up our chorus students, have them come on up, get them ready, and we'll begin our ceremony. Stand for the pledge. And our officers will lead. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you. And as our chorus gets set up, I would like to introduce our guests that are on stage. If you look to my right, we have Dr. Donald B. Murphy, our superintendent of schools. Next, we have Mr. Joseph C. Tasman, our deputy superintendent of schools. Rebecca Bilski, assistant superintendent for pupil personnel services. Dr. Tim McCarthy, our assistant superintendent for curriculum instruction and technology. 
And representing our Board of Education, we have Mr. Michael Buscarino. I also have a very important person to your child's last three years here at the middle school, guidance counselor, Ms. Andrea Oliveira. And to my left, hiding off of the stage, not hiding actually, running the show, is Mr. Michael Collin, assistant principal, superior. Many of you have received phone calls from him, good and bad, but nonetheless, he's always been there to support your children. We also have in the aisle over here, Ms. Michelle Aversano, administrative assistant, who again, we couldn't pull this off without her help, so thank you. And without further ado, please stand for our national anthem. Thank you. Thank you very much. We have with us right now, we have Mr. Michael Buscarino, who is going to start things off with the greeting on behalf of the Board of Education. Welcome. Good evening. It's my pleasure to be here tonight representing the members of the Hopog Board of Education and offering congratulations to the graduates. You should be proud of yourselves for all that you have accomplished so far. However, your work is not done. As you prepare to enter high school, go in with an open mind. High school is the gateway for your life as an adult. It is never too early to plan your own destiny. Ask yourself, where do I see myself in five years? Will I be finish finishing my freshman year in college? Will I be serving our country in the military? Will I be working, and if so, what will I be doing? Maybe as you sit here today, you have the answers to these questions, or perhaps you are still searching for the answers. Either way, as you navigate the next four years of high school, challenge yourself academically and get involved in school, in the community, and at home. Hopog High School has so much to offer you no matter what your interests or abilities are. Broaden your horizons and try something new. Maybe it's an elective course, a club that interests you, trying out for a sports team, or being a part of a theater production. Your experiences will likely change the answer to the five-year question. Maybe the answer will be clear for the first time. Don't fight it. Embrace it. Set goals. Work hard to achieve those goals, and you will be sure to make your destiny a reality. On behalf of the Hopwalk Board of Education, congratulations, enjoy your summer, and have a safe one. Thank you. Thank you. I would like to now welcome Dr. Donald Murphy, Superintendent of Schools.
Thank you, Mrs. O'Connor, for the kind introduction. And actually, let's all take a moment to acknowledge and thank Mrs. O'Connor, Mr. Colin, Ms. Aversano, Ms. Canicotti, Ms. Siegel, Ms. Rogers, and Ms. Oppenheim, our middle school team. Thank you for organizing this incredible graduation ceremony tonight. I'm truly honored to be here celebrating this year's Hop Hog Middle School eighth grade class, who also happen to be the Hop Hog High School graduating class of 2027. To the parents and guardians here tonight, please know that I stand before you not only as a representative of the district, but as a fellow parent myself. All of us parents know how these milestones seemingly arrive quickly. We blink and they are over. As I reminded an elementary audience this morning, these moments are so fleeting. As best as you can, I encourage you to be intentional and soak up every minute tonight. Despite our best efforts, we cannot slow down the clock. So perhaps with a lump in your throat, smile and simply take it all in. And also smile with the confidence knowing that an incredible high school experience awaits your sons and daughters. Now on a side note, and maybe with a hint of reflection and humor, I'm not always sure that during these secondary years, our kids appreciate our efforts as parents. They begin to show some independence and test the waters with us. My own two daughters, ending grades seven and nine this year respectfully, have for some time now been taking turns calling me some combination of sus, cringy, or the latest one, this one's great, they call me a bot. So I looked this up, for those who may not know what this means, as I didn't, a but, it means that you lack the people skills to be personable, and that means you are coming off not as a person, but like a robot. Really, so nice. But of course, this playful banter with our kids that I and many of you may experience as well, is in many ways a sign of our kids growing up. A sign that magnetiles and superhero figures, doll houses, Legos, bouncy houses, they've long ago been replaced with trips to the mall, Snapchat, AirPods, Uber Eats orders, and random Amazon packages arriving at your house. Your sons and daughters here tonight are growing up, and despite all the necessary juggling of the modern trappings of teenage life, the eighth graders here tonight are well adjusted, studious, thoughtful, and kind. They are great kids. So now speaking directly to our middle school graduates, our soon to be freshmen. After tonight, I'll likely see you next at the high school in September, where you will begin the next phase of your journey. Please know this, the entire Hop Hog community supports you. From the people in the stands tonight, to those at home, from our Board of Education members to my colleagues throughout the district, we will all be behind you every step of the way these next four years. Dive headfirst into all the high school has to offer. Challenge yourselves with rigorous courses, join clubs, play on the sports teams, go to the school performances, dance at the proms, come to Kicks for Cancer, and celebrate at homecoming. Wear your Hop Hog Eagles gear gear with pride wherever you go. In other words, stay connected, engaged in Hop Hog High School in every way and you will surely benefit from the experience. Your high school years are truly critical years in helping understand your true paths in life. As Taylor Swift said, just be yourself. There is no one better. Now I am no Swifty, but this bit of wisdom perfectly captures your marching orders. Eighth graders, just be yourselves and you will thrive during your high school years. Congratulations, I'll see you in grade nine. Thank you. And now on behalf of our middle school PTA, Ms. Donna Oliveto. Before she speaks, I'd like to take a minute, a minute to recognize many of the efforts of Donna throughout the years. 
since I've been at the middle school, Donna has been an integral part of PTA and has been way before I was part of the middle school. This is her last year in an officer position at the middle school PTA, but I'm sure the high school is going to recruit her and get her involved. But without Donna, many of the large events that we've run over the years would not have been as good as they are. She's the person behind the scenes, texting, emailing, coordinating efforts between the school and between the parents, students, and she also ropes in her own children to help. So thank you all very much. I know you're here. So without further ado, I just want to say thank you to Donna and turn this portion of the ceremony over to her. Thank you, Mrs. O'Connor, and hello. On behalf of the PTA, I'd like to begin by thanking so many people who have made this year such a successful one here in Hopog. But before I begin, I want to send a special shout out to our middle school PTA secretary, Carmela Primiani. I don't know where she is, but Carmela has been working behind the scenes as a PTA officer in one capacity or another for so many years. And tonight, Carmela is graduating along with her youngest. So thank you, Carmela, for being a quiet force behind all of our activities for so many years. I don't know where she is. <laughs> and another shout out today to our incoming PTA president, Amy Barche, for answering the volunteer call and for her usual balloon making magic. The Commons looks amazing for the dance tonight. Thanks to her help and the help of some parents and high school students who volunteered to join us this afternoon in setting up. Your time and energies are appreciated so much. Okay, so so many others to thank. On behalf of the parents of our graduating class, our PTA wants to say thank you to our Board of Education for volunteering to direct our children's education. We want to thank our central administration for guiding our children's education with foresight. We want to thank Mrs. O'Connor and Mr. Collin for running a building where we all feel comfortable sending our children every day. We also want to thank our building secretaries and all of our custodians and security guards for their tremendous efforts to keep our children in an environment that is organized and safe and clean. Another special shout out here to congratulate our head custodian, Brian Gordon, on his retirement. We have appreciated never feeling like a burden when we had to send our SOSs for all kinds of last minute and extra work we threw his way. We want to thank our monitors and aides for all they do to help keep things running smoothly. And of course, we want to thank our amazing teachers who spend countless hours in the classroom and on their own time trying to make learning fun for all of our children. Another shout out here to Ms. Doblin, Ms. Mimna, and Ms. Visnius for acting as our PTA liaisons between the teachers of our building and our parents. Our faculty is compassionate and generous in sharing not just their energies, but they go above and beyond just that. Fun fact, I'm not sure there's any other school district anywhere where they have 100% teacher membership in their PTA, but we do here in Hopog. That is overly impressive collaboration between home and school, and we know how lucky we are. So thank you to our teachers. Next to our parents and grandparents and caregivers we have with us here tonight, we all deserve a thank you as well. On behalf of our PTA, but also on behalf of one another, thank you for all of your contributions to our children's success as well. I'm grateful for the opportunity to acknowledge our little village we have all shared this journey so far, and we have all been fortunate to have the support of one another as we raise our babies. And finally, to our graduates, we want to tell you how proud we are of you. You have been challenged in a lot of crazy and unprecedented ways as you moved through Hopog Middle School, and you rose to every challenge. You've been truly amazing. Your willingness to keep plugging right along, enjoying the ride, has been inspiring and appreciated by your parents and by your teachers and all those fortunate enough to be part of your journey. Hopog Middle School Class of 2023, we know you will do great things as you move over here together as the Hopog High School Class of 2027. Enjoy your dance tonight, your trip tomorrow, and congratulations and best of everything to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. 
And now our National Junior Honor Society President, Alalakin Agusakin. Alalakin! It is a humbling honor and privilege to be standing at this podium. Good evening, distinguished teachers, Mrs. Mrs. O'Connor and her wonderful team, family and friends, and most importantly, my fellow peers. As already mentioned, my name is Olalakin Ogun Shakin, and my, I am the president of the National Junior Honor Society, a society that I'm very grateful to be a part of. Before I continue, please join me in recognizing with a round of applause all the faculty, parents, and loved ones that are present here today, because without them, none of us would be sitting here. We did it. We came, we saw, and we conquered. We made it here, to this moving up ceremony. And that's great, it really is. We put in all this work to arrive at this point and now that we're here, the million dollar question is, where exactly are we moving to? The simple answer is high school. And while that is true, I believe that it's so much more than that. This ceremony is about much more than just finishing middle school. It's a testament to how far we've come since we started school and how far we'll go. From kindergarten all the way till now, we've all made so many mistakes learned so many things, and amassed friends to last a lifetime. It truly astonishes me when you look back to where we all began. Our middle school experience was not the typical one that you would hear from our predecessors. We came smack in the middle of a global pandemic because of, of something called COVID-19. For almost two years of our lives, were we forced to adapt to a whole new way of life that became so extreme that after a while, we all became a pair of eyes and a mask. But yet after all that, we came out stronger than we entered. It goes further than that. We all united in a way that no one could have ever predicted. We've persevered through so much together. We've laughed with each other. We succeeded with one another. The bonds that we've built truly bring our own meaning to the saying, through thick and thin. You might think that today is the end of all that, but it's not. Today marks the start of something new, a new era, a new chapter of our lives and I, for one, can't wait to see what happens next. Hopefully high, high school will bring just as many, if not more, good times and memories. But no one knows what the future holds. I sure don't. But what I do know is that the future is in capable hands. The 2023 Hopog Middle School class and the eventual graduating class of 2027 will be the agents of change of our generation. The future scholars, athletes, artists, and leaders of the world are sitting here before you. So as we move forward, I implore you to remember the valuable lessons that we learned during our time here, and to never forget the friends that we made along the way. We have showcased traits of good character in our kindness, integrity, and empathy. But of course, we are yet to scratch the surface of our best selves. We will be learners today, leaders tomorrow. We've emanated to our teachers, to our parents, to our peers, the quintessence of being a part of this community. We've reaped the fruits of our labor, but don't stop now. Your job isn't done until the job is done. No matter where you're headed, when you walk out of that building on Friday, you will always be a hop hog eagle. That cannot and will not ever change. This, however, comes with certain ramifications and expectations, but I'm not worried. We made our way here, and together we'll keep moving up. So like the eagle, let's soar into the next tomorrow with not even the skies as our limit. Congratulations to the class of 2023. Thank you. I will now invite up Mr. Michael Collin for the presentation of awards. What I do ask as we present the awards that we clap evenly for each of the individuals. There'll be points in time where Mr. Collin is going to read a section and ask you to hold your applause until the end. I also ask that you do not call out individual names. We would like to celebrate everyone in a respectful manner. So thank you.
Thank you for holding your applause as I came to the podium. I appreciate that. I love it. Oh, there we are. There's that hot pod community. Thank you. How about that young man, Alala Kinogan Shakin, huh? How about that? That is the first of many speeches that young man is going to make, and uh, I'm very impressed with him and, and all of you uh, graduates here this evening. I do have some awards to announce. I am going to be pronouncing names, uh, listing names. When I call your name, I want you to stand and remain standing, please, and then I will tell you when you can sit back down. Okay, so the first award that I am going to announce is the President's Award for Educational Excellence. This means that the students I am about to Juliana Heck, Kevin Holler, Avery Horace, Sam Vath Karanam, Sravya Karanam, Grace Katchen, Joseph Kim. Juliana Kraus, Peyton Kalesa, Gabriella Lanfranco, Kyle Locasano, Ava Lukasic, Michael Lynch, L. Mellenbranch, Sophia Mariani, Karina Mazuka. Emma McCarthy, Madeline Maleo, Madalena Neola, Sean O'Connell, Liam O'Connor, Alalakin Ogunshakin, Matthew Oliveto, Katie Park. Juliana Pastilio, Kara Primiani, Meta Rao, Ethan Rivera, Jayla Rojas, Mia Sardi, Sheikh Siam, Ariz Shah, Yashvi Shah, Abha Simha, Andrew Solomon, Layla Sosa, Cameron Spezio, Rebecca Spiegel, John Stein, Juliana Stepanio, Tatiana Sumarev. Layla Tamayo, Brooke Telfer, Lindsay Tenbrink, Patrick Terzella, Lillian Torres, Cecilia Tulio, Andrew Vero, Avery Wilcox. Juliana Williamson, Madeline Wilson, Daniel Youngworth. These are the students who have achieved a 90 plus average for each quarter of the school year. One big round of applause. <clears throat> Thank you students, you may sit down. <clears throat> The next award is another Academic Excellence Award. These following students have achieved a 95 and above average for each quarter of the entire school year. When you hear your name, please stand up. Annabelle Adamo. Lindsay Adams. Manha Aliza. 
Tyler Babich. Nicholas Batista. Jace Cardamone. Mario Chavez. Luis Constant. <laughs> Sorry, let me do that one more time. Luis Constante. Jacob Corsione. Krista Kumo. Gabriella Di Nicola. Charlotte Derby. Lucas Di Clementi. Samantha Douglas. Joanna Dove. Nathan Fernandez. Jason Francisi. Akil Grandi. L. Mellenbranch. Sophia Mariani. Madeline Maleo. Madalena Neola. Alalakin Ogunshakin. Matthew Oliveto. Katie Park. Juliana Pastilio. Nada Rao. Ethan Rivera. Yashvi Shah. Abhay Simha. Andrew Solomon. Rebecca Spiegel. John Stein. Tatiana Sumarev. Patrick Terzella. Lillian Torres. Juliana Williamson. Madeline Wilson. Big round of applause for those students earning a 95 or greater for the entire school year. Thank you students, you may sit down. Now we have some other special awards that I'm going to go through as quickly as, as possible, but at the same time giving as much recognition as possible. I will announce the award, the students will stand, we will applaud, and the students will sit. So this special award for algebra will go to Andrew Solomon and Cameron Spezio. Please stand. <laughs> special award in art, Gerilyn Avilar, Vincent Farina. <laughs> special award for band, Christopher Choi, Metha Rao. <laughs> Special award for chorus, Taylor Karos, Sophia Cotgreave, Avery Genninger. Please stand. Special award for coding, Emily Harmel, Sean O'Connell, Sophia Salzillo, and Andrew Solomon, please stand. Special award for Earth Science, Eduardo Aguirre Argueta, and Madeline Maleo, please stand. Special award for English, Julia Cristiano, Juliana Heck, L. Mellenbranch, Alalakin Ogunshakin, Juliana Williamson, please stand. Special award for Family and Consumer Science, Nicholas Batista, Karina Mazuka, please stand. Special Award for General Music, Giabella DeFranco, Kaylee Duran. Woo! 
Special Award for Health, Taylor Karos, Maximus Villarico. The Irene Schreiber Community Service Award will go to Madeline Maleo and Juliana Pastilio. The Joanne Rondello Memorial Award goes to James Laverde and Jaden Satriano. Special Award in Math. Vincent Farina and Abigail Arthur. Special Award in Orchestra, L. Mellenbranch, Katie Park, Julia Supper, and Patrick Terzella. Special Award for Physical Education is awarded to John Avlanitis, Peyton Kalesa. The Pry Hockey Memorial Award in French goes to Nathan Fernandez and Yashvi Shaw. Special Award in Science goes to Avery Genninger and Kyle Locasano. Special Award in Social Studies goes to Ryan Dobbs, Jason Francisi, Jack Graziano, and Grace Katchen. Special Award in Technology goes to James Laverde and Juliana Pastilio. The Tyler Linda Award goes to Nicholas Miles. Special Award in World Languages for German, Kara Primiani and Jack Stein. World Languages Spanish, Mario Chavez, Madeline Maleo. World Language French, Louis Constante, Madalena Niola. The Stella Riggs Memorial Award for Academic Excellence is awarded to Elijah Flays, Michael Lynch. Michael Lynch, Kyle Locasano, and Catherine Pistrito. I have two more awards to announce that are not in your program. The PTA wishes to acknowledge the following students. When you hear your name, please stand. Emma Gill, Krista Kumo, Abigail Bowden, Matthew Oliveto, Rebecca Spiegel, Ava Mooney, Ryan Russo, Meda Rao, Manha Aliza, and Matthew O'Shaughnessy. Thank you, you may sit down. Thank you, PTA. The SEPTA Perseverance Award is going to the following four students. When you hear your name, please stand. Bailey Ward, Augustina Reck, Elijah Bramwell, and Rudrin Mahesh.
Please stand. Big round of applause. Those are all the awards that I am going to be uh, presenting. I would at this time like to call up Dr. Murphy to present the Rachel Quinn Kindness Award. Rachel N. Quinn Battaglia was born in Smithtown and attended Hop Hog Public Schools. Rachel developed a love for helping others and decided from a young age that she wanted to become an elementary school teacher. After graduating from Hop Hog High School, Rachel continued her education at St. Joseph's College. After college, Rachel obtained her dream job in Hop Hog, the school district where she grew up. She was told that it was the best interview ever conducted and the Rachel standard became the highest bar for future interviews. Rachel taught both fourth and fifth grade at Bretton Woods Elementary School, a job she loved dearly. Throughout Rachel's professional career, she strived to instill the importance of kindness in every aspect of her classroom. She dedicated her time to shaping the minds of her students and it became, became one of the biggest passions in her life. Outside of her professional life, Rachel was a devoted and loving white wife to Nathan Quinn. In 2015, Rachel and Nate met in Patchogue, New York, the same town where they would eventually marry and call home. Rachel was a loving pet mom to their dog, Winnie, and cat, Colt. She loved spending time with her husband, family, and friends. Rachel particularly loved going to local restaurants in Patchogue, reading, traveling, going to the beach, listening to music, dancing, singing, and going for walks. You'd always you would always find Rachel with a smile on her face, ready to help everyone around her. Aside from being a teacher, Rachel's dream was to marry the love of her life and have children of her own. Rachel and Nate were expecting their first child, Ellie Quinn, the summer of 2021. The world unexpectedly lost Rachel and Ellie on June 14th, 2021. Rachel is remembered as a beloved wife, daughter, mother-to-be, sister, friend, teacher, and so much more. Rachel was a beautiful person inside and out with a true heart of gold. She was an avid member of the community and has touched the lives of all those who were lucky enough to cross paths with, with her. Rachel approached everyone she met with open arms and only saw the best in people. Her love for teaching and helping children will always be remembered. In honor of Rachel N. Quinn, I ask that you always be kind I would like to now present the Rachel Quinn Kindness Award in her honor to Patrick Terzella. Patrick, congratulations. Thank you, and that truly is a special award indeed. And now I turn things over to Ms. Stephanie Lingell and our chorus for their special performance. Once again, I ask that we do not call out individual names. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you for that beautiful performance and a special thank you to Meta Rayo. Let's give her a round of applause. All right, so now a reminder that we are going to begin the moment we are all here waiting for. We're going to announce our middle school graduates, but we will begin with the first row of students in chorus. So the chorus will be slightly out of alphabetical order. And after all the students in chorus go, we will begin alphabetical order. So without further complications and wait here, I'm gonna bring up Ms. Olivero, Ms. Olivero and she's going to perform a little act in between. Okay, she's not, she's not. You're not, no, you like, not tonight, no. No, like a dad joke? Maybe a dad joke. No? All right. Nice try. All right, so once again, I ask that everyone give each of our graduates the full attention and respect that they deserve. It will take a little while for everybody to cross the stage, but we ask that everyone give your full attention equally to each and every one of our students. And here we go. First row, please stand. And remember to bring your cards up with you. So, what I'm going to have As they come across. Ethan Wooklich. Christian Drepikonatis. Sorry, Christian. Charlie Graziano. Jack Graziano. Dante Augusta. Alexa Davis. Nic Nicolette Cataldo. <laughs> Allison Winaritz. <laughs> Jordan McClure. <laughs> Madeline Wilson. <laughs> Jordan 
Jaslyn Carvajal. Lindsay Tenbrink. Mia Golemi. Abigail Arthur. Juliana Kraus. Tatiana Sumarev. Slow down. Slow down. Congrats. Taylor Karos. Congratulations. Aiden Rivera. Joshua Sufuentes. Christian Mooney. Dominic Fernandez. Elijah Flays. Logan Rosenwald. Daniel O'Donovan. Camila Gomez. Lindsay Adams. Chloe Collins. Jillian Conter. Charlotte Derby. Emma Gill. Annabelle Adamo. Emma Catania. Mia Philippe. Mia Fusaro. Megan McGarvey. Eliza Kaplan. Avery Genninger. Ryan Russo. Michael Malik. Louis Constante. Corell Jackson. Maximus Villarico. Arika Jones. Jacob Corsione. Arielis Cortez. Brianna Salazar. Grace Ketchett. Faith Tesoro. Sam Uthika Canaram. Luisa Oliveira. Caitlin Soa. Gabriella Lenfranco. Annalise Jansen. Sophia Silva. Jenna Williamson. Leela Noor. Medha Rayo. Dominic Cozy. Andrew Nesky. Brendan Accardi. Eduardo Agu Aguar or Jetta. Dylan Alexander. Mana Eliza. Ava Andriano. 
Congratulations. Vincenzo Augusta. Geraldine Avalar. John Avalanitis. Tyler Babich. Ricky Blanda. Nicholas Batista. Irina Belisai. Joshua Berg. Sarah Berg. Jordan Berrios. Ava Bilbo. Andriana Bassono. James Boslaw. Abigail Bowden. Elijah Bromwell. Jack Brown. Samuel Bruingraber. Alexis Butron. Jacob Caradonna. Jace Cardamon. Juliana Stopiano. Mia De Siervi. Ava Lukasic. Sophia Di Lorenzo. Emily Cardoso De Andrade. Alex Caros. Jason Cardafalsa. Aiden Cavallo. Mario Chavez. Yu Ching Chen. Christopher Choi. Isaiah Chung. Jameer Clark. Gianna Coppola. Gianna Cordovano. Amy Carreras. Sophia Cotsgreve. Julia Cristiano. Krista Camo. Megan Daly. Nathan Depa. Gabriella DeFranco. Devin De La Rosa. Andrew Delgado. Gabriella Di Nicola. Alexander Donraj. Lucas Di Clemente. Ryan Dobbs. Congratulations. 
Samantha Douglas. Joanna Dove. Kaylee Duran. Michael Economico. Brandon Edwards. Ella Egan. Angel Espinosa. Elias Espinosa. Gianna Falcone. Vincent Farina. Olivia Feinblum. Kieran Fernandez. Nathan Fernandez. Nicholas Ferraro. Sophia Ferrero. Jason Francisi. Grace Galarza. Isaiah Gallette. Dustin Garcia. Priscilla Garcia. Addison Gentile. Andrew George. JJ Gonzalez. Michaela Gonzalez. Akil Grande. Philip Halpin. Tyler Hansen. Anaya Hammonds. Emily Harmel. Ayan Hassan. Zaid Hassan. Juliana Hecht. Liam Heck. Amanda Hidalgo Campoverde. Kevin Holler. Braden Hogan. Avery Horez. Janiya Jeffrey. John Joseph. Landon Kaplan. Samvath Kanaram. Shravia Kanaram. Gianna Kozalski. Joseph Kim. Marcus Kim. John Kogel. Martin Koppelman. Brady Krause. 
Peyton Kalesa. Bailey Landgren. Kyle Locasano. Giovanna Lombardo. James Luverdi. Michael Lynch. Kyle McGill. Rashmi Mahesh. L. Malbranch. Sophia Mariani. John Martinez. Caitlin Maza. Karina Mazuka. Logan McKee. Anthony Mediate. Nicholas Mealies. Madeline Maleo. <laughs> Michael Miller. Christopher Miner. Cecilia Mokia. <laughs> Ava Mooney. Katie Mullen. Madalena Neola. Sean O'Connell. Liam O'Connor, Isabella O'Neill, Matthew O'Shaughnessy, Olalakin Ungungashin, Matthew Oliveto. Katie Park. John Passanante. Trevor Patrovich. Daniel Pedraza. Natalia Penacostro. Joseph Penzel. John Pianitari. <laughs> Catherine Pistrito. <laughs> Juliana Pastilio. <laughs> Nicholas Pulios. Frank Pranzo, Ashley Prehatka, Cara Primiani, Jaden Ramos, Arvind Rampersad. Augustina Reck. Aaron Regan. Elias Rivas. Ethan Rivera. 
Logan Rivera. Cassandra Rivera De La Rosa. Tanya Rodriguez. Sophia Rogowski. Jayla Rojas. Sadit Shake. Oh, Sheikh Sadit, I'm sorry. Sheikh Sadit. Sophia Selzillo. Nikki Sarrett. Mia Sarti. Jaden Satriano. Sheikh Siam. James Schofield. Griffin Siegel. Evren Senturk. Araz Shah. Yashvi Shah. Abhay Simha. Benjamin Singh. Andrew Solomon. <laughs> Riley Suku. Layla Sosa. Cameron Spezio. Rebecca Spiegel. Star Stewart. John Stein. Brennan Sudama. Julia Super. Joelle Tikori Luciero. Rashmika Santillian Aguilar. Layla Tamayo. Brooke Telfer. Patrick Terzella. Lillian Torres. Cecilia Tulio. Nathan Vargas. Luke Vasquez. Andrew Vero. Isabella Vizzini. Bailey Ward. Avery Wilcox. Juliana Williamson. Logan Wirtz. And Daniel Youngworth.
All right, let's offer our students a big round of applause. We'll give them a moment to all return to their seats. We're going to conclude in just a moment. I'm just going to give a half hour speech and then we'll be all set. No, I'm just kidding, just kidding. I know that everybody's anxious to get to the dance, so I'm just asking everyone to take a seat and give me your full attention for just two more minutes. All right, everyone, full attention, two minutes, and before you know it, you'll be on your way to the dance. Students, all eyes up here. So class of 2023 and our future high school class of 2027. Three years ago, you walked into the doors of the middle school. Some of you were entering from Bretton Woods, Forest Brook, Pines, and many others of you came from other school districts. You entered expecting typical challenges for a middle schooler, which would be using a locker for the first time, navigating a larger building, switching classes, and of course, meeting new people. Excuse me. You did all of that, however, while dealing with a global pandemic. Your middle school entrance was unique compared to anybody else, but you came through and I'm proud of the courage, character, and determination within each of all of you. I'm sure the last three years of your life has gone by rather quickly for most of you, but it's really important to note that the next four years will go by even faster. The next four years are going to determine the type of person you become. The choices you make from this point forward will mold the life ahead of you. It is an opportunity to either continue on the right path or an opportunity to turn over a new leaf and start fresh. Whatever it is for you, set a plan and make that plan count. I would love to tell you that the pandemic is the most difficult challenge you will ever have to face, but it may or may not be. Unfortunately, we cannot control many of the challenges that will come our way in life. But what we can do is we can control how we respond to those challenges. Life isn't always fair. Life isn't always kind, but we are all given tools and resources that we can use to overcome and succeed. Every one of you has what it takes to be successful in all aspects of your life. You need to believe in yourself, work through failures, and demonstrate a commitment to excellence. As you enter high school, I encourage you to try something new. As Mr. Buscarino was saying, join a club, try out for a sport, audition for the musical, take a new elective, but find your passion. Look for ways to get involved in school beyond the classroom. You may have some trepidation, but you are all ready for the next step in your educational journey. I am proud of each and every one of you, and I wish you the best as you continue the next exciting phase in your life. I look forward to hearing about all the amazing things that you will accomplish in the future, because there will be many. You are learners today, leaders tomorrow. Go Eagles, and go have some fun at that dance. Congratulations. And thank you, family and friends.